Hello and welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne and I'm Sarah and today we are going to tell you about the top 10 investor terms that you need to know. Terms like equity, ARV, cash on cash, DTI, LTV, all, and all, all the acronyms, the acronyms. <laughs> everything you're going to want to know. Hello everyone, welcome to the Suzanne and Sarah YouTube channel. I'm Suzanne Mark and I'm Sarah Willis. We are Central Oregon's investment and real estate experts. As I said, I'm Suzanne Moore. I'm a realtor here in beautiful sunny Bend, Oregon with Realty One Group Discovery and the founder of the Central Oregon Investor Network, which brings together investors not only from Central Oregon, but from all over the country to share resources, learn from one another, and create more passive income in our lives through real estate investments. And I'm Sarah Willis. Suzanne Moore and I are a team here at the wonderful Realty One Group Discovery, and we bring you videos every single week on investor topics and Ben lifestyle topics. And we are licensed realtors. So when you are ready to buy or sell here in the Central Oregon area, we hope that this information is valuable to you and that you think of us when it's time to buy or sell. You will see our QR code here up on the screen. Um, this is the best way to get in touch with us. We curate a wonderful list of Ben's best deals. So if you're shopping in the area, you're going to want to be on this email list. Um, and by signing up via this QR code, that will come right to your inbox. Also, we invite you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel before you end watching this. So real estate investing is a very lucrative field that offers investors so many different opportunities. But to navigate this world successfully, it's really important to understand the language that comes along with it. And there are so many acronyms, as we said at the beginning. So whether you're a seasoned pro or just beginning on your real estate investing journey, these are the top 10 10 terms that you're going to need to know to be able to speak investor. Number one, something that people come to us every single day, they say, Sarah and Suzanne, I want a short-term rental or an STR. That's one of those acronyms we told you about. So um, this really just refers to a furnished and self-contained property, such as any kind of you know single family home, condo, apartment that you rented out um, for brief periods of time. So it's also known as a nightly rental. Um, a lot of people will just straight up say, I want an Airbnb, right? So because they know that um, Airbnb and VRBO are very common platforms to be advertising those um, short-term rentals on. So STR, short-term rental, um, these are the places that people come to this beautiful town um, to stay at as an alternative to a hotel or a motel. Um, and Likely by this time in your life, you probably stayed in one yourself. Maybe you knew it, maybe you didn't. Term number two is equity. And this is a really fundamental term for all of real estate investing. And it's really about the difference between the current market value of the property and your remaining mortgage balance. Hopefully equity is up here or the value of your property here is here and then your mortgage is down here. And that difference is called your equity. And over time, as you pay down your mortgage, your property's value appreciates and the equity in your property gets bigger. So term number three, something Suzanne just said actually is appreciation. So this is the increase in value of your real estate property over time. And anyone who comes to us and talks to us about um, investing in Central Oregon, we're going to probably talk to you about appreciation. Um, this is sort of the workhorse here in our area um, and something that uh, we can definitely count on in our area is, is homes to appreciate. Um, Bend in Central Oregon is not getting any less popular um, and we are continuing to see a very steady line of growth and appreciation year over year, no matter what happens month over month. So appreciation really is just the key driver of real estate investment um, returns and something you should know about. All right, back to the acronyms. Term number four is NOI, which stands for net operating income. This is a really important metric that you will need to know if you're ever calculating your cap rate. And if you don't know what a cap rate is, head on over to our YouTube channel and find the video about the best metrics to use to analyze your investment deals. So net operating income is the annual income that's generated from an investment property after you deduct expenses like property taxes, property management fees, 
and utilities. So it's a very important metric for you to know about to evaluate a property's profitability. Number five is your debt to income ratio. Also another acronym you're going to hear thrown around, especially from your lender, um, is DTI. So your debt to income ratio. And really, this is just a financial metric that's used to assess your ability to manage monthly debt repayments um, according to a lender, right? Um, seasoned investors, people that have a lot of uh, a lot of properties out there have a pretty high DTI usually. And this is where um, working with uh, investor savvy realtors like ourselves and our lenders, um, we can get more creative with financing for you. But uh, DTI is just a huge gauge that lenders use to um, associate the amount of risk, according to them, that they will have in lending you money. Number six, cash on cash return. This is an important one for evaluating your cash flow, which is one of your two general goals in real estate investing. Either you're looking for appreciation or you're looking for ca or cash flow and sometimes you get both. So a great way to measure cash flow is the cash on cash return. And that essentially measures the ratio of annual cash flow before tax to the total cash invested in a property. And it's expressed as a percentage. So the metrics really helps us investors to assess the returns that are generated by these income generating assets. So higher cash on cash return means that you are getting your cash paid back more quickly and that's generally what people are looking for and there's different cash on ca cash metrics for a short-term rental like we just talked about and a long-term rental so we can talk to you about those different expectations in our market Number seven is cap rate. Otherwise, you know, in long form is the capitalization rate. Um, and this is a ratio and it's a ratio of your property's net operating income. So remember uh, how much money you're bringing in minus your expenses um, in comparison to the capital cost or really what is determined as the current market market value. And cap rate is just one of the many important metrics um, that investors look at when um, analyzing whether this is uh, a, a good deal for them. And, you know, every different, every market is going to have a different standard of cap rate that makes sense for that market. Um, and that's why, again, speaking to um, realtors that are experienced in their market, they're going to, we're going to be able to give you what is a reasonable expectation for our market versus um, a market perhaps in another state or city. All right. Ready for another acronym? It's number eight, ARV, and that stands for after repair value. The people who use this metric are generally flippers or wholesalers. So if that is the kind of investing you wanna do, you need to pay attention. ARV is after repair value and it's the estimated value of the property after you do the repairs. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, and you're accounting for all of the necessary renovations that have been done and all real estate investors that are using ARV are really using it to determine the property's value once it has been renovated. So you buy low, you estimate your ARV, your repairs get you to this price, and then between there, that's your profit, and that's what you want. Okay, number nine. So comparable sales, or in realtor lingo, comps. Um, you'll hear this. You'll hear us throw this term around a lot. Um, comps are something we use in many different facets of the real estate industry. Um, one would be yes, in trying to determine what your ARV is. Perhaps um, comps are something that we use when we are um, have buyers interested in a potential home. When we are analyzing what would what would be a reasonable offer price, just to make sure that. The, the listing agent, for example, has the house priced appropriately, um, or if you know we're submitting an under asking offer, um, this we use this as some supporting evidence as to why. Um, there are many different reasons where why we use comps um, or comparables, but it's another term that you need to know. I think I got all the acronyms. <laughs> Number ten, LTV, loan to value ratio. This is another important term that you will hear a lot from your lender. Again, much like DTI, the loan to value ratio is a really critical factor for lending because it measures the amount of the loan compared to the property's value. So a higher LTV, so say 90 LTV means they're giving you a loan for 90% of the purchase price. You only have to put down 10%. That's higher risk to a bank and that may result in a higher interest rate 
or the need for private mortgage insurance or PMI, which is another acronym that we didn't mention here, but <laughs> come to us, we'll teach you all the acronyms. So as we said, understanding these uh, 10 essential terms and more um, is really gonna help you become the best investor or homeowner really possible. Um, yes, we work with a lot of people who are buying second homes and rental properties, but uh, we consider any any home purchase, any real estate purchase to be an investment, um, primary residence or investment property alike. So when you're ready to uh, embark on the journey of real estate investing, um, you know who to call. I'm Sarah. And I'm Suzanne. And thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like this video. It helps us help you. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.